Star Wars 7x7 episode 2475. As we've talked about the High Republic Storytelling Initiative and this first wave of stories, we have talked about how long it would go and how many stories would be included. Well, we now have a finite answer to that question as well as information on the start of wave two. Punch it. Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So, Wave 1 of Phase 1 of the High Republic Storytelling Initiative is just about complete. There's only one little piece of something that hasn't yet come out, but it's coming very soon. And hot on the heels of that is going to be the start of Wave 2. So, the books for Wave 1 are officially Light of the Jedi by Charles Sewell, A Test of Courage by Justina Ireland, Into the Dark by Claudia Gray, and The Great Jedi Rescue by Kevin Scott. And then, of course, there are the two comics, which are the High Republic comic series. That one is scripted by Kevin Scott, and The High Republic Adventures, which is scripted by Daniel Jose Older. We have found out now, thanks to StarWars.com, that the first five issues of both of those comic series will be the Wave 1 stories for this High Republic Storytelling Initiative, and Wave 2, for the comics at least, begins with issue 6 for both of those titles. But that's not all from Wave 1. We also have to remember that there is the two-part short story Go Together from Star Wars Insider, and then that's followed by, oh, that was done by Charles Sewell, and that's followed by First Duty, which is the two-part short story by Kevin Scott, of which one of those parts has been released already, and we're still waiting on the other one. And so now we are getting ready for Wave 2 of Phase 1, and the fine folks at Lucasfilm announced the quote-unquote first round of titles. So we had titles for Wave 1 releasing from January through, it'll be probably about May, and Wave 2 will begin in June, and what they shared with us so far actually goes into October. So, you know, same kind of five-month period, except in this case, they're saying it's the first round of Wave 2 titles. So unless they're going to pack more into that five-month space, it seems like we're getting a bigger wave of storytelling for Wave 2 than we did for Wave 1. And we're also going to get stories in more types of media for Wave 2 as well. So the adult novel is The Rising Storm, that's Kevin Scott. Then there's the YA novel, which is Out of the Shadows by Justina Ireland. Then we have the middle grade reader, which is Race to Crash Point Tower by Daniel Jose Older. There's also an 8x8 storybook that's happening as well. That's called Showdown at the Fair, and presumably for a younger audience. And it's also remarkable because it introduces a new author, a sixth author, into the High Republic Storytelling Initiative, and that's George Mann, who is probably best known for the Star Wars myths, fables, legends type of stories and the upcoming Life Day Treasury along with Kevin Scott. Then, of course, there are the High Republic and the High Republic Adventures comic books, and their Wave 2 storytelling begins with issue 6 for each of them. And great news for Geode fans! <laughs> if you were a fan of that character from Into the Dark, well, the crew of the vessel is supposed to be in that new story arc in the High Republic Adventures, and even though concept art allegedly exists of Geode, it hasn't been released anywhere, and so this will be the first time that we actually get to see a visual presentation of that very compelling character. But we don't know how long into the run of those two comics the Wave 2 storytelling will last. So, you know, we'll have to see. Obviously, five issues was Wave 1, but it seems like it could go a little bit longer maybe this time. And also, there's the short story situation. So Hidden Danger is the first of the short stories that will be a part of Wave 2, and that one is by Justina Ireland. That will be in Star Wars Insider, and seems like at least a two-part story for that one. Presumably, there will be more short stories afterward. She and Kevin Scott are supposed to be trading off stories and Kevin Scott's one is active right now, Justina's next, and so on and so on. As for the previously mentioned other media, well, one of them had already been previously announced. We just didn't necessarily know where it was falling in along with everything, and that's The Edge of Balance, which is a manga that is being presented, and it seems like from the description that it takes place not just within, you know, one specific time period of this High Republic situation, but it seems to be happening potentially concurrent with both Wave 1 and Wave 2 storytelling, because it talks about 
resettling some refugees from the great hyperspace disaster and then going through into and after the aftermath of the Republic Fair, which will explain that whole situation because that's really what Wave 2 centers on. And the Edge of Balance manga is being co-written by Justina Ireland and a new writer, a seventh writer in this storytelling initiative, that's Shima Shinya, and that will be coming out in September. Another thing that's coming out that hasn't yet been announced and is an entirely new type of media for the High Republic Storytelling Initiative, but not necessarily new for Star Wars storytelling over the last couple of years, is an audio drama original. It's called Tempest Runner and it is being scripted by Kevin Scott. That story will focus on Lorna D, who is one of the Tempest Runners, one of the people who operates basically right underneath the head of the Nile, Markeon Row. Now, what is this wave all about? Well, I'm glad you asked. So wave one was all about the great hyperspace disaster and the fallout from it and introducing us to the main villains that we'll be dealing with, the Nile and the Drenger. Well, Wave 2 is going to be very much about the Republic Fair, which is this giant event that the Republic wants to put on to express the possibility and peace that's available with the expanding Republic in the Outer Rim. It's happening on a planet called Valo, or Velo, V-A-L-O. This is a brand new planet. It's never been mentioned in the current canon or the Legends canon before. And not only are the Nile going to reign as much chaos and destruction on this event as possible, but according to the description for the Rising Storm, the Jedi are going to come face to face with the thing that they fear. So this thing that has been talked about since the very beginnings of this whole storytelling initiative, even back when it was just named Project Luminous, and it was just operating under the idea of what scares the Jedi and you know, all of that wonderful stuff, right? So yeah, that's apparently we're going to find out what the real deal is with that in this next wave of storytelling. And it begins in June and early too, right at the beginning of the month, we're supposed to get the High Republic issue six from Marvel. And that is the very first story in wave two. It will be followed closely on its heels by the Hidden Danger Part 1 story in Star Wars Insider from Justina Ireland. And then at the end of the month, it's double trouble. We get the Rising Storm and Race to Crash Point Tower. The last thing I want to flag is that there are two prominent storytellers who are missing from this initial announcement, and they are Charles Sewell and Claudia Gray. They don't have any stories in this first set of titles being announced for Wave 2 of the Higher Public Storytelling Initiative, and that's a bit of a bummer, but hopefully they will be back in the fold soon enough. And there you go. That's what you need to know about the end of Wave 1 and the start of Wave 2 of the Higher Public Storytelling Initiative, and that's going to do it for this episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it, as always, and may the Force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited. Other respective trademark and copyright holders may the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.